What is up disc golfers today on Iceberg TV. Before we get into today's video, I want to talk about the, the Iceberg Disc Golf Backpack. This is the disc golf bag that has been designed from the ground up to improve your game. Every aspect of this bag, every finer detail has been designed for performance. If you haven't checked out the Kickstarter video, the link is in the Kickstarter and then the video can also be found on this channel. And I cannot thank you guys enough for the support that we've seen so far and I'm so excited to get this project fully launched. So if you haven't checked the Kickstarter out, the link is in the description below. Now for the Champions Cup, I had so many different emotions and I wanted to wait a little bit to make this video because I kind of wanted to hear what everybody else had to say because I had so many different thoughts about, you know, Chris Dickerson winning, him and Ricky's epic battle, Calvin Heimberg really being in the driver's seat and then sort of just throwing it away by not being able to hit the fairway a couple of times. And that doesn't take away from either of these guys' performance. Calvin and Ricky, honestly, scores like this should win. But when you have a robot chicken that just doesn't ever quit and there's nothing you can do about it, he's just gonna hit every single fairway and make every single putt, you can't afford to miss the fairway, even on a course like WR Jackson when it's, I mean, it, it can be borderline impossible to hit the fairway every single time on this course. And we saw Ricky and Calvin really making some mistakes. And we saw a few mistakes out of Chris Dickerson, but really, I mean, obviously nothing to hold him back because he almost shot 40 under par and this course is so hard. So absolutely stellar play out of Chris Dickerson. We definitely saw the focus, the consistency, the composure, and the things that we've come to expect from Chris. Chris is an absolute gamer. He's a competitor. And right now he is, you know, vying to, he wants to be the best player in the world. And doing things like this is really gonna put him up in that conversation. Now, Paul Macbeth also put himself in the conversation by shooting 52, a 16 under par in the final round. A criminally underrated round, in my opinion. I think this should have been like, this is like 1120, 1130, really, eye, really eyeing for that highest rated round ever shot type territory. Shooting a 16 under on WR Jackson isn't something that people thought was possible. Early in the tournament, we saw a couple of 11 unders, we saw a 12 under, and people were thinking that at best, 12 under is the best possible score so someone could shoot out here. And Paul said, mm, I don't know about all that. I'm gonna shoot a 16 under, and I'm, even though I didn't win, I'm still gonna continue solidifying my legacy. And if you wanna check that video out, Paul has coverage on his channel where they actually just basically filmed his whole final round. And, the focus and the gap hitting and the disc selection, the circle one putting, I mean, Paul was absolutely dialed. Everything was perfect. And he's and he said, I'm just gonna give everything left that I have left in the tank to this round. And that's exactly what he did. So if you haven't checked that out, this is some of the best disc golf you're ever going to watch on one of the hardest courses in the country. Paul Macbeth is dialed. He's looking healthy. He's looking very focused. So although Paul did not come in the top five. I would expect him to come in the top five in the next event. He was who I predicted to win this event, so I was definitely wrong. And Chris Dickerson wants to be Discraft's best player. Chris Dickerson is competitive. He is competing at the absolute highest level, and he got another major under his belt. So tremendous congratulations to him. And if you have not watched Paul McVeth's round, I would encourage you to go watch that because this is some of the cleanest disc golf you will ever see. Leave your comments in the comment section down below. Is Chris Dickerson Discraft's best player right now? I don't think he is quite yet, but he's definitely getting in the conversation. Comment down below. You're watching Iceberg TV and take care.